Hello, in this video, I want to show you power of AI render art primarily on out painting and in painting with Dal E2, uh, how it can work and create it. So let's go ahead and start with this. For this, we'll need to go in a Dal E2. And by the way, if you uh, don't have an account, it's free right now to sign up. And as you sign up, you will have it 50 credits so you can work around as well. And this will update it every month for you as well. So what are we going to do? It says try our painting. We go to editor and you'll notice we have our image right here. We can upload it 1024 by 1024. And I recommend going with maximum scale for the better quality of this. So I have the image that I created before and inside the Photoshop, I went and I trimmed down this. If you don't have it Photoshop, you can go to the website like Burmi and you just need to go uploaded image here and you notice it's already will create for you of course we need to go set properly parameters height and width and then you can adjust as you need it and after this go ahead and save as an image this is probably easiest and fastest way for free to go resize your image and save it the reason is why I recommend because you can see frames is generated inside the DALI uh, 1024 by 1024. It's maximum. You could download it different size of images, but it's already scale and applied. But this way we'll utilize the maximum space as we can. You don't necessarily need it crop. You can also just extend it if you need it. For this, we'll go ahead and click upload image now. Okay, and I'm going to use this image that you just saw preloaded. Notice it's a perfect size. On the bottom, we have a delete or accept. So I will just click and accept. Now we can start actually expanding our canvas, build better. But before we do this, we want to add and tell Dali what we want to do this. In this case, it's Cyber City. So I'm just going Cyberpunk Street. Cyberpunk City street rain neon lights so we can kind of describe what we see in the scenery because i want to expand the scenery as well and maybe um LADTV stores kind of like this maybe blade runner overall themes so we kind of set this There you go. So we said this next, what I want to do, it is add frame generation. So we go click on a frame and you can see how we can expand. One thing I do not recommend go all the way to the end like this because it's one, it's one sampling. What has actually happened also, um, program will sample some images and will kind of extend. So in the case, if I go right around here, I click, you see how I'm overlapping. That is will help me to simplify uh, make sampling on this okay when we're done there we can go in oh it's erased so let's go try again it is cyberpunk city street rain neon lights LED TVs blade runner so for some reason it's erased it so what I'm going to do copy paste these just in case and we'll go click generate that is generated it will provide me with four different um scenarios that i can select it so right here you can see it select one not necessarily i don't like those this one leave it better i think this one will match better we can regenerate again if you don't like it but for the purpose of the video i'm assuming it's what we wanted so i'll go ahead and accept this is all part of the out painting. So next we can also go on another side around here. Uh, one thing what I necessarily not big fan, you can see the resolution. We have very high resolution here and resolution here is dropping. So we'll need to do some other in painting to match kind of this. So we can create another side. When we're done, we'll click generate. It's still remember our, and I will do exactly the same right now. It will, um, Okay, let me zoom out a little bit till it's generated. It will create some of the steampunk things for us. It's still thinking. Okay, and I did much better job at this end. 
probably because you can read more information we can go scroll okay let me go just a little bit up right here adjusting oh yeah look on this this is a perfect match almost right there or we want street i don't want street i want kind of so we had two options one there and this one you know what this one i do like reflection so i'm going with this option and we'll just click accept notice now we have it our image kind of extended we can go up and down but next what i want to show you it is a little bit in painting so we did out painting in painting we need to select eraser and we'll just go right here and i don't like this thing so i'm going to erase it like right there and click generate at this time so what i did i remove this piece of information and tell dali to replace with this cyberpunk city neon light you can change a word in this case and create it maybe something different words but this way um, it will match all our scenery but here's a one mistake i created if you notice my square was in this place and of course it did not find so I cancel i'll need it positioned properly i need to put it right in this area it's what i want to do so now let's go generate again so it was on the wrong place okay so you can see it's created we can go over and see the elements that it does i think this one is look very good so nice beautiful replacement on this area uh, next what i want to do it's maybe fix a little bit the bottom i don't like it so i will take um, adjustment this area move it down maybe around here okay and we could in this area fix so i'm going to take a razor again now i'm using in painting and i don't like how the message was look so i'm going to like raise a little bit bigger area around here okay and we'll go same we'll go click and generate in this case okay it's done let's preview what we have here and we have it somewhat reflection almost i think this one will work a little bit better as a reflection so i accept this area um you don't need necessary work on the biggest kind of uh replacement so let's look zoom in okay we'll take and for example right here see how it's a hook up if you don't just don't like this area i want to be sure i select properly yep it's inside here i can use it in painting just to fix this area and this is very good for if you're a photographer or something you want to add like this element so i'm going to take um, brush okay and i'm going to reduce make it a little bit smaller okay maybe even more smaller like right there and we're going out painting this stuff okay and same let's go ahead click generate so it will take sampling of everything i don't need to change my words because it is same in cyberpunk with all the stuff but ai nice about the will analyze all the image analyze it's a person and uh, if it's a belt so then hopefully we'll get a properly result okay so it's done let's go look and you can see it did actually not bad job so i think maybe this one yep i'll keep it this one so we'll go ahead click accept on this let's go to zoom out and we did expand it's 1024 so next what i want to do let's go just make it bigger okay let's go start from here and again you be sure you want to overlap trust me uh, otherwise it will look total wrong total different so i'm going to generate much bigger image so we'll have it 1000 three uh, kind of like three here and three on the bottom so we'll create a square but we're creating much bigger size image i wonder how big we can actually do in this case okay render is completed let's go over no 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 i think maybe this one purple do you want to keep it purple or pink so we'll see i don't like any of them so i'm canceling and i'm going down to this image right to the middle maybe a little bit below like right here okay let's try this one we'll come back sometimes when you render you wonder what's happened to all these images so let me know let me let me tell you before that whatever we render image is actual render blocks we'll look on them in a second and you need to download all image here if you don't download it 
you won't be accessible but you can download it blocks afterwards okay let's go look oh this is a nice one i like this one definitely so we'll keep this one let's go next and notice again we'll square overlap so we'll go generate this one as well and we have it just extended a little bit and what i was saying when we create whole image you want save at this time because after after if we're going and look on our gallery what we're going to do afterwards you'll see all of these options they're not discarded by the way all of these options all these four different options not discarded they save as images but if you want to combine them you will need go after like in photoshop or other area and use it there oh, these ones look way better i do I like this one okay so let's go like accept and now i'm can go back to this area and try to generate hopefully it will generate something like expanding extension of this building going up okay and let's go see oh yeah it's way better now it does so i'm going probably with this i like a little bit busier in this case but it does not necessarily always matching i think this one may match better okay here's now become more tricky part let's go down and expand down there so the, right there ai i have it fit and i'm expanding down below let's go create and see if actually the dolly 2 algorithm and model will recognize the legs of this and extend properly or we have it very long legs we'll see what's happening Okay, it did create boots. It's created very weird looking boots, but it did create. Oh, this one has come up very good. I like that one. And this one is even better. So actually it did way, way better than I expected. Look at this. It's created actually reflection for us. Now, this one. Yeah, definitely this. Okay. So it is actually a very surprise result does. It did recognize extended legs, put it proper link and add also reflection to this which is a very impressive way it did job okay let's finish our render but render a little bit more okay it's created one corner for us we can go to check and it will be very so it's what i expecting very very similar so i'll just leave it maybe this one and we'll go to this last corner and creating here as well okay we're done rendering this let's preview oh i still like how it actually did a very good on the reflection yeah definitely this one okay so here's our image create very good on reflection everything it did not match precisely precisely and i think this problem with the resolution because look how many details here and this is the next thing so i think dali should improve it because it's how many iterations was gone because i think it's gone only about 50 so if we pop up to 100 we probably have way better details on this i think it's what next things dali should do um with definitely different coloring but we can fix this so at this point i say okay we increase size we are painting let's go ahead and save our image and you can do this again by click on this button and that is a save in your default folder now if we're going back to our history you can see these all elements look on this they're all rendered see this showing original it's where there was reading from and actually it's showing how it expanded so we can save if you um want to go back and you don't for example like the legs you think oh i thought those ones look better you can still download it all of this all of this images so you can still download it and use it as well including those in paints elements that we created here so you can use all of them all the accessible which is kind of nice because sometimes you don't want to just fix you want to maybe come back after and that should be just overlay with no problems you just put it over those areas and that should match you know what let's go ahead inside the photoshop and see how well it's worth perform or what's going on there okay so here is inside the photoshop and we're going to image image size we can see it is actually 2005 so it's it is increasing size quite a bit um which is very nice because we can actually increase preview and some of this this is not bad resolution right here we just did not match on a green just kind of effect but you remember i told you we can download it other elements and replace them so let's go ahead and open this one and this is one element the only different it's what kind of very annoying to me at this point why do you need bring your branding here this is 
And this is not free credit. By the way, I bought it those credits. So I'm paying with my money and you put it your branding on image that I created that I paid for this service. I think this Dali, I need to report them and tell, hey, you know what, guys, you shouldn't put your branding on the paid credits because I'm paying for the service anyway but let's go try this we'll take except this little teeny tiny annoyance we can go put it like in the middle and you can see how well see it's just perfect match so if you decide to go back re replace it you can do this except again this is um I almost had a bad word about this but this is idiotic things right here that is I need to go and replace after in Photoshop but there you go there so we fix it okay um if you work with this you'll notice it's not necessarily all clean and everything what i would recommend for you to do it's a cleanness of the grain so let's look right here you can see how noisy this one and this is too clean you can definitely see the edge where it's a break of the quality of the resolution so it still be something we need work in the very fast solution for this one it is going and fill with the grain noise add noise so we'll have it about let's go with uh, maybe eight on the grain we'll go right here and we'll set this to the soft light so this will help to some point to match grain and you can see right here how we're already kind of matching grains between them we're still off on the coloring and for this one we actually need to go create let's go down below we'll need to create uh, like a curve maybe switch this to the color mode and we need to set a little bit more to yellowish if I'm right just match the coloring red let's go to cyanish yeah like this cyan color red cyanish match a little bit don't worry too much about this middle because we're going to command control I to match out take our brush white 10 percent and we can paint in some of this coloring to matching around this so we can do actually let's go 50 percent so we'll just match very fast so we can play with this coloring and everything to match it's not a big deal um i wish there was a little bit better but it is not bad painting you know if we're creating image and we created from our origin from this image expanding it's actually did quite a bit nice job for us to create this set and uh, of course we have it a room to grow because we need to add detailizations and other things for in painting out painting but we also have this nice effect inside the dali to create this image um i will probably experiment a little bit more later and i hope you will experiment as well try with this but in general it is um i think very useful tool very nice addition that dali to have with the out painting and in painting well thank you for watching this video i hope you find this interesting um discover something new for you and create your own images if you create new please share show me what you've done show me your um tips and tricks whatever you have there as well i would appreciate this a lot thank you have a fun great day to create your art